Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Sunday. If you guys know me, you know how much I live for a pink and purple eyeshadow look. So today I thought, why not dibble and dabble in both? Cause I got some amazing palettes in the mail from BH Cosmetics. And this is what the palette looks like. This is their trendy in Tokyo palette. So this is what the palette looks like on the inside guys. And as you can see, it is literally colorful eyeshadow heaven. The palette ranges for only six $16 and you get so many different colors with intense color payoff. This video is not sponsored guys I just really wanted to create a colorful look with you. So yeah, let's get to it Okay, so now that we are all zoomed in let's get in to our eye look So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty 230 blending brush and I'm gonna pick up this shade right over here It's a really beautiful bright matte pink and it's called emoji and I'm gonna start working that into like the crease and use that as our first transition color I mean, look at how pigmented that is, guys. And we didn't even have to apply too much. And we got such a beautiful color payoff. I'm so here for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other eye. And now what I'm doing is just with the lightest amount of pressure, I'm just blending it out so that it can have a nice gradient effect between the next shade that we're gonna start to pack on. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another Fenty 230 brush and I'm going to pick up this really bright red shade right there and it's called Fashion. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to just work that right in the center of my crease, just like that, and blend it into our pink shade. And just like that, we have a very nice gradient effect between the two shades. So now I'm gonna go ahead and blend the last shade just right on the outer corner here. I'm gonna go with a dark purple. So it's gonna be fading from pink, red to purple. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this very dark purple shade right here. And I'm using all the matte shades in the palette so far. And this shade right here is called Kyoto. And I'm gonna pick it up with my Nabla Precision Soft Crease Brush. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start packing it in the outer corner first, just to get that color payoff where I needed to be. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lightly blend that into our red shade. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a clean brush and this is just my NYX number 16 brush. I'm gonna start blending out the top of the shadow with the lightest amount of pressure. Just literally going over it just like that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with an eyeshadow base on our lid. I try to use the Fenty Eye Primer, but it did something weird. I don't think I can use that over a powder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this Sigma eyeshadow base. This is my favorite eyeshadow base to clean up my lid with. And this is in the shade Persuade. I couldn't find this shade on their website anymore, but I'm gonna link the next best shade for you guys so you guys can go ahead and check it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm literally gonna just draw it on to my lid just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead with a brush and just start to carve out my crease. So now that we have our half cut crease all shaped out and snatched, I'm gonna go in with our inner corner shade. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be building three different shades on our actual lid. So we're gonna start off with a lighter pink, a darker pink, and then a darker purple in the corner. So pretty much creating three different shades on the lid as well. Very extra, very doing the most, but it will look cute in the end, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna take this light pink shade right over here and it's called Blossom. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start packing that in with this BH Cosmetics brush. This brush is part of this polka dot set I got from them ages ago. Like it's crazy, it was such an affordable set, but I still have it till this day. It was one of my very first brush sets I got when I was in university, which is insane that I can still use them till this day, which is one of the main reasons why I love BH Cosmetics so much is because you get really good quality products, but for such a budget friendly price. And I remember when I was in uni, it's like I wasn't trying to spend, you know, crazy 
crazy 50 to 60 dollars on brushes i wasn't about to do that and i wanted to start practicing how to apply shadows how to blend properly just to have a proper set to create looks with and these polka dot brushes are part of my first ever set so just a little story time right over there so now that we have that bright pink packed on i'm gonna go in with a darker shade of pink and i'm gonna take this shimmer shade right over here and it's called anime so i'm gonna start picking that up with my fenty 200 eyeshadow brush these fenty brushes guys bomb the quality of these brushes are insane so i'm gonna go ahead and just start to pack this shade right in the center this is going to be our middle eyeshadow shade basically As you can see, the fallout is intensely disrespectful, but don't worry guys, this is why I suggest doing your eyeshadow first because some palettes, it'd be like that sometimes, you know what I mean? But I'm okay with that personally because I'd rather have fallout for intense pigment. And that is what we're getting today. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna take my wet wipe and just wipe that all away so that we can go into our last shade on our lid. And now for our last shade, I'm gonna go ahead and take a shimmer purple and I'm gonna take this shade right over here and it's called Sake. So I'm gonna blend that into our shade Anime. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shade Kyoto that we used on the outer corner and just blend that lightly into the purple shade as well. So it's gonna be pretty much like pastel pink, a more darker pink, a shimmer purple and a dark purple basically. So I know it's a lot, but the details and the taking the time to blend them all in is gonna be fire and it's gonna look bomb so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do now so now i'm gonna pick up my nabla soft dab and smudge brush and i'm gonna pick up that shade sake and just start to blend that in right on the outer corner And then now I'm gonna take my Nabla pointed crease brush and I'm gonna go back in with that dark purple shade Kyoto and I'm gonna start to blend that in to our shimmer shade. And yeah, I'm gonna go back in with the same wet wipe because we are officially done with our shadows and just start to clean it up. And there you have it guys, that is the eye look. I am so obsessed with it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But now I'm gonna go in with our base makeup. So first I'm gonna start with some primer and I'm gonna take this primer by Siate London. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And this is their Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. This is such a good primer. Not only does it smell amazing, like it smells so good. It literally smells like watermelon, but it's such a bomb hydrating primer so I'm gonna go ahead with some of that first now that our skin is all hydrated and prepped for our foundation I'm gonna be taking a new foundation today actually this is makeup forever's reboot foundation this foundation just launched I believe on Friday the 31st and I was lucky enough to partner with them on Instagram for this foundation and give you guys a review there make sure you guys go ahead and check it out so I'm gonna go ahead and just take like two pumps of that on my beauty blender and just start blending it out So now I'm gonna go in with some concealer and my dark circles are extremely disrespectful right now. So I need all the coverage I can get. So I'm gonna go in with my ultimate favorite, my Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. I'm actually running out of it. It's pretty much almost done. It's on the brink of finishing because I just use it every time I'm doing a intense glam because I know it's gonna really cancel out my dark circles without having to do all the color correcting and all that stuff, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna pick up some of this in the shade warm sand and just go ahead and blend it out with the same beauty blender. So now for setting powder, I'm actually gonna try a new powder for once. And this is CoverGirl's True Blend Loose Mineral Powder. And this is in the shade 600 Banana. It's supposed to be like a really true yellow powder. Oof. And I'm gonna give it a shot today, see hopefully if it brightens up my under eye, if it's not too dry underneath my eyes. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and dust it away right away because I don't wanna get too dry underneath the eyes. 
I'm actually not that bad at it. It's a little drying. I'm gonna go ahead and take this bronzer by Bobbi Brown. This is their powder bronzer in the shade Deep. It's literally the perfect shade to bronze up for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start to add some warmth back into the skin. So now I'm going to go in with some blush and I'm going to take this blush from Cover FX. This is their monochromatic blush duo in the shade Spice Cinnamon. And that's the shade right over there. It's a very intense pink. And I really want the cheeks to be very, very pink. Our highlight to be pink. Everything is just going to be like overly exaggerated, if you know what I mean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Nabla Cheek Shaper Brush. I love this brush for blush. It blends it in like so perfectly. So I'm just going to go ahead with some of that. See, normally I would like freak out to have that much blush on my cheek But for this look, I just really want it to be a very intense pink So I'm gonna go ahead and blend that into my bronzer And I'm just gonna go ahead and put some on my nose as well. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take the same sponge that I used to set my under eye. And I'm gonna carve out my blush and bronzer just to make it more chiseled and snatched. You know what I mean? I love doing this to really intensify and finesse some really crazy looking cheekbones, okay? And then as you can see, it just helps make everything a lot more neater and more sculpted. Like now you look like, yes, cheekbones, yes. <laughs> and now for high I'm gonna go ahead with this other palette from BH Cosmetics and this is their Illuminating in Ireland palette. It's a six color highlight palette and this is what it looks like. Guys, these highlights are so pigmented. Like right here, this yellowish golden highlight is literally a dupe for Fenty Beauty's Trophy Wife highlight. It's insane. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this shade right over here, the really pink highlight and this is called Limerick. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up with my Morphe R31 brush. And I feel like this is gonna complement our very intense pink blush, you know? This look is like so far out of my comfort zone, but I'm really feeling it just because I feel like it's a really intense play on color. And that is a pretty much the base. I'm really happy with how that looks. So now I'm gonna go ahead with some lip products and to create the perfect pink nude, I'm gonna be mixing these two shades right here. And of course, I'm gonna go in with my favorite lip liner lipstick. It's not even a lip liner, but it's a lipstick, but I love using it to line my lips. If you guys are regular on my channel, you've been seeing me do this quite a lot. But yeah, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Lingerie Push-Up Lipstick. And this is in the shade After Hours. It's a really nice dark blue brown so it's gonna really help blend into this pink which I'm really super obsessed with this is by Sephora and this is a cream lip stain and it's in the number 13 I really love this combo together so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply them And that is the lip combo. I'm really here for it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But now I'm gonna go ahead and just plop on my lashes and I'll be right back. All right guys, so this is how my eyeshadow is looking right now with the lashes on. I'm obsessed with these lashes. This is by Velour in the style Can't Be Tamed. I love using them for looks like these when I really want the eyeshadow to speak for itself because it gets more like longer and wispier on the outer corners. So it gives you more of like a cat eye wispy lash if you know what I mean, and it's definitely a vibe. All right, guys, and there you have it. This is the final look. I'm here for it. Yes, yes, feeling myself. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this very colorful eyeshadow look, and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to turn on your bell notifications. I upload every Thursday and Sunday, and like always, I'll see you guys in my next video.